Which you guys got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be taking a look at a useful tool called SF Diagnostic Tool. It's a free tool you can use from Captain Debugger here. Uh, this is his real name, uh, Sean. He's a, he's a really nice guy and he's really made a useful program here to gather up uh, mini dump files, event log and uh, all this other useful information, driver list and so on, host file. Now if you've been having blue screen of death issues or crashing and stuff like that uh, from driver based uh, issues or whatever it may be then breeding dump files and all this useful information that this tool will gather will be very useful in uh, diagnosing your issue. Now obviously you're still going to need some sort of knowledge to diagnose this sort of stuff but it's a good start to gathering all the information to go to forums like seven uh, forums or the new forum, eight forums and so on to actually diagnose these issues for you. Now this guy here, Shams, uh, made this nice free tool uh, to use to actually gather all this information up for you very simply and easily. You can get it from this website here. Now you may get a flag from your antivirus program and uh, this is because the actual program is unknown and it's a false positive. It is completely safe to use. If you want another location to get it then you can get it off of uh, seven uh, forums and this is the actual location here you can download the program it's made by uh, Captain Jack Sparrow which I should imagine is Sharm himself so they're the two locations you can actually get and we're going to run the actual program now so I'm going to quickly right click on this and run this as administrator and this is the actual program itself so what this tool is going to do is it's going to pull off all the use of useful information from uh, your computer i.e. your mini dump files which will be your crash dump files from your system now they'll be in your windows directory but this tool just brings it all together and makes it a lot more easier and also you've got event log also update log windows update log driver list and uh, ms info 32 host file uh, cpuz and so on and so on so basically this will just pull all this information and you can also la launch your uh, uh, driver verifier from here as well so what we're going to do here is uh, click on grab all. It's saying make sure you've right clicked on it to run as administrator. I've already done that. So I'm going to click OK here. It's saying the, the crash dump file has now been copied. Let it do its thing. Vent logs have been copied. Host has been copied. Now of course you don't need to use this type of program, you can manually do this all yourself but it's a really nice useful tool for technicians to put all this stuff together. So we'll just let this finish off, OK, got the information there, also the driver list and the Windows update. OK, so now it's telling me where to go to locate the file uh, folder itself and it should have a date on it. So click OK here, we can close this off for now and there we have our folder which is created for us. So if we look inside the folder as you can see we've got all this useful information it's pulled off the dump files that were in that location and uh, it's put them into this folder it's also pulled off the driver list it hasn't copied them, uh, cut and pasted them it's actually just copied them so it leaves the copies on there also you've got the driver list event app and also event system you can see uh, hosts there and also the MS info 32 and the Windows update so let's have a look at the actual driver list here as you can see it's give us all the driver list now if you was diagnosing your PC because you're having issues then this is very useful information also the event this would be the information um, from what's been happening on your system so if you've been getting crashes this is also very useful for diagnosing and uh, finding out what's going on with the system. Also event syst, it's copied this across as well for us and we can use this to uh, diagnose 
and also the hosts and you can see just in case there is an issue that this in case you've had malware or something like that on the system or some uh, issues with your host file it will be all listed inside here and we can also have a look at our MS info and it will copy all this uh, information across and it will also give us the Windows update log and this will give us a full list so if there's been issues with the updating that's causing a crash in then this will all be logged inside here as well now I did say about the dump files here and I'm going to show you uh, another way that you can actually uh, read these dump files if you are pretty familiar with uh, blue screen view you'll know that that's another tool that you can use and also we've got who's crash which is another great tool uh, to use to read dump files now I've got a dump file here another site I wanted to show show you which is quite useful is an online scanning uh, analysis tool here online and all you need to do is come to this website here and click choose file you can actually locate your dump file which you've got which is this one here DMP there are all your dump files obviously the one that we'll be looking for would be in the folder that is created so we're going to use one of these click open and then upload the dump and this will actually analyze it and give us a full blown report of what's going on with the system now blue screen views okay this is a, a real nice way of looking at the dump file it really break it all down and it's very simple okay so there we have the actual dump file and you can I'm not going to go through this and uh, route all through these these are not actual um, dump files of my own these are dump files that I've uh, used to just show you in this video and as you can see you can break it all down down the bottom here it gives you some information uh, crash code links it will take you to a link so you can read about this which is very very useful and it will let you know what's going on so that's quite a nice little touch you can actually search Google which is going to give you the error code which was there well not the actual code but the name of the error and you can uh, have a look on Google which is quite nice as well okay so that's that one if you don't know how to do it the information's there for you to deliver to a forum where they can diagnose that for you and this is what this program was designed for so I think that's about it for this video I hope you enjoyed it my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk enjoy these videos guys hit that subscribe button also rate and favorite my videos if you enjoy them i'll be making more useful videos again in the future so thanks again for watching guys bye for now